Hi guys, my name's Aisha Jamal. I'm a London-based fashion stylist um, and welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome, 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 welcome. If you were already a subscriber of my channel and have been patiently waiting for, I don't even know how many years it's been, but you've been waiting. Um, I'm here, I'm back and I'm gonna just give this another go. So today, I am gonna run through four up and coming designers that you should definitely be shopping right now. So the first brand is Kai Collective. This is owned by a Nigerian fashion designer called Fasayo and she has had an amazing year with Kai. She released what could probably be described as the most sought after print of the summer with Gaia. I hope I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> anyway. So the Gaia print has a dress and a top iteration. Um, I got the dress, it's like really long mesh dress. It's so beautiful. The release of the Gaia print caused her website to crash. That is how much demand there was for this dress and for the print. Like it was honestly incredible. It was honestly amazing to see something like this happen for her. I've been following her brand and her blog for some, for some time and honestly, she's done so well. They offer a lot of luxury pieces for a really affordable price. So check out Kai Collective because honestly, you'll want to wear everything. So the next brand is Material. Their pieces are made with figure flattery in mind. If you're looking for a brand that incorporates classic silhouettes and tailored pieces which are bold and sexy and unique the material is the one for you the materials that they use material material the materials that they use are super luxury the only thing that i would say is that the size offering for this brand is not very good they i think they go above to maybe a size 14 at the absolute max you might be able to get something custom made with them but honestly for they're ready to wear it's not good enough. I would really, really, really like them to offer something above a size 14 because in all honesty, the women that can afford to pay for luxury are mostly not a size 14. If you look at the data, a lot of women who can afford luxury are above a size 14. The two designers work as a design collective and each individually have their own brands, which I think is really cool. But yes, as I said, they need to just up their size offering because it's not good enough. The third brand is Orange Culture and I'm actually wearing an Orange Culture top right now. I was first introduced to Orange Culture through my work as a stylist. Um, I was pulling product from a PR agency in London and um, I noticed these really beautiful, colorful knit knitted pieces and inquired about who the designer was and the PRs um, and the PR that used to look after Orange Culture in London um, was really kind enough to give me a walkthrough of the brand and honestly I instantly just fell in love. I just thought everything was really colorful, beautiful, unique and it was honestly no surprise that the designer is Nigerian. Um, I'm also Nigerian so I just have this like like is this like natural pull or this natural affinity to Nigerian designers. I just think we're the most fashionable people in the world but hey ho I think I'm a little bit biased. They've had such an amazing success with the brand and they've done numerous collaborations. They even did a collaboration with Davido and it was exclusively sold at Selfridges. The quality of the pieces are honestly phenomenal. Everything is handmade in Nigeria and if you love colour then this is the brand for you. If you're looking for classic silhouettes with that Nigerian influence, then please check out Orange Culture. They have a website where you can order from and you can get anything made to order. So I got this top and I got the matching trousers made to order. And honestly, the service was incredible. Everything was sent within, you know, one or two days of it being made. And I can't recommend or rave enough about them. Please check them out and make multiple orders if you can. Now the fourth and final brand that I want to talk to you about today is called Paris Georgia. Since launching in 2015, the designers have embedded sustainability into the fabric of their business. Everything is made where they're from, which is New Zealand, and I personally love the fact that they know every single person who makes their clothes. 
Their design aesthetic is minimalist, but even if you're not a minimalist, you'll definitely find something that you love. Okay, so those are the four up and coming designers that I wanted to share with you today. And I hope you liked the video. Um, let me know your opinions. Let me know um, what you think. If you think that I should do something similar again um, or something different. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you like it. If you did like it, please like like literally physically like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.